It's almost time to keep on trucking as the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series will be coming to a town near you shortly. This upcoming tour will once again consist of 16 regular season races with four drivers ultimately battling it out under the lights in Miami for the season championship. 15 full-time drivers will suit up for some beating and banging in NASCAR's most action-packed series. And with the talent entering the garage, the adrenaline and excitement won't extinguish anytime soon. Young's Motorsports will feature three new drivers behind the wheel as Tyler Dipple, Gus Dean, and Spencer Boyd will pilot the team's number 02, 12, and 20 entries respectively. It will be interesting to see if they can build on Austin Hill's success with the team last season and gain speed inside the Chevrolet Silverados. Should be an interesting group to watch, unless of course the rookies have problems finishing. The 2018 Arca Series champion joins the tour as Sheldon Creed will drive the number two for GMS Racing. The driver from Alpine, California has also excelled racing in super trucks and sports cars as the 21-year-old certainly knows how to drive anything he gets behind the wheel of. As GMS Racing downsizes as a truck series team, I would see Creed and Doug Randolph having a great chance to make some noise on the track and end up adding a few truck wins and titles for years to come. I think this is a move to watch going forward. Jordan Anderson is back as the lovable underdog in the truck series garage as he will pilot his number three Chevrolet Silverado for another go around. Speed is the name of the game for this organization as if Jordan Anderson can find some consistent 12 to 15 place speed on the leaderboard, quite possibly we could talk about him come playoff time. It's highly unlikely, but you never know with the lack of top tier race teams in the truck series and the growing parity within the league. It's safe to say Todd Gilwin is the equivalent to Chase Elliott in the NASCAR Truck Series, as no matter the circumstance last year, my goodness, the guy couldn't catch a break at all. Behind the wheel of the Kyle Busch Motorsports number four, I expect Todd Gilwin this season to have a Chase Elliott type season behind the wheel, and he is finally going to break through after the pains and misfortunes of losing countless race wins and having inconsistencies on the racetrack. He'll be a driver to watch here in the NASCAR Truck Series as he hopes to erase the misfortunate legacy that his father carried before him. After getting screwed over by GMS Racing in January, Johnny Sauter lands on his feet with Thor Sport, and thank goodness. Imagine the state of the Truck Series if Sauter, the 2016 NASCAR Truck Series champion, goes from winning six races behind the wheel in 2018 to drinking a six-pack on the sofa all season long. Anyways, he gets to reunite with his old race team, and he gets to drive the number 13, which was his original number within the organization. For the Thor Sport team, I would consider this a steal, and this will give them a top championship contender to replace the declining Matt Crafton. Just with the driver change, I see this truck winning at least two races and going all the way to Homestead once again. Johnny Sauter is arguably the best driver in the NASCAR Truck Series, and he is going to show why he is a top dog once again. Tory Racing returns to Daytona with the shiny championship trophy, but they will have a new face in the number 16 truck. Austin Hill gets his big break in the sport, which is definitely deserved if you ask me. He overachieved in Young's equipment, earning one top five and six top tens last season. While I think Scott Zipidelli and Austin Hill will see some growing pains as a duo, the 16 team is still one of the fastest trucks in the garage area. I see the momentum of the championship run carrying on for years to come, and Austin Hill should be a playoff contender come August and should notch a win or two in the long run. Harrison Burton, the son of NASCAR on NBC broadcaster and 21-time NASCAR Cup Series winner, Jeff Burton gets his first big boy ride in the number 18 Safe Light Toyota Tundra for Kyle Busch Motorsports. He will inherit the truck Noah Gregson piloted two wins and a championship appearance last season. In terms of the hype and lower division statistics, I would say the second generation driver is a major improvement from Gregson and if he can steer clear of rookie mistakes and inconsistencies, he will easily be one of the four drivers competing for the title in Miami. 
The future is bright and we will see if the Burton legacy can continue for years to come. AM Racing and Austin Wayne Self will reunite for the 2019 season, hoping to build on a campaign that saw the 22 team earn 9 lead lap finishes and only 2 DNFs, which isn't bad if you ask me. We'll see if they can build momentum and whether or not Austin Wayne Self can truly create success for himself in the NASCAR Truck Series. After releasing Johnny Sauter due to funding, ironically the new driver behind the wheel was released from his ride at Hattori Racing due to sponsorship issues. Brett Moffitt will come back to defend his 2018 NASCAR Truck Series title and hopes to find success behind the wheel of the number 24 Chevrolet Silverado and Jerry Baxter will take over crew chiefing duties after a subpar 2018 campaign with Cody Coughlin. Which, honestly, the reason why he was slumping was because uh, Cody Coughlin was mediocre at the very best. He's getting an upgrade for sure in Brett Moffitt. And one thing to watch for is whether or not Brett Moffitt can find immediate success with his brand new team. As last season at Hattori Racing, he was able to set the tone early by winning at Atlanta and was one of the top teams throughout the season. Entering the 2019 season, Brett Moffitt is the odds-on favorite to do it again, and rightfully so. He's in one of the best trucks, and he is one of the best drivers in the series. Brendan Poole hopes to charge like a bull, and he will return to the NASCAR circuit full-time with On Point Motorsports in the truck series. While I wouldn't expect anything special in 2019, this could be a sleeper team in the truck series garage. Certainly a smart move, but it will take some time to develop. Honestly, it would not surprise me if Brennan Poole became the next Ron Hornaday or Todd Bodine of the truck series. As Brennan Poole, he's an all right driver. And if he can develop in this truck series and build his experience over time, he could be one of the greatest truck drivers. We'll have to see where this move progresses. And who knows, maybe in two to three years, he will be a star in the NASCAR truck series. For the Canadian fans watching, you do have a native representative during the NASCAR Truck Series as Stuart Friesen gets to wheel the bright blue number 52 full time and hopes to build on a close but no cigar season wheeling his own equipment. The 35 year old with Hamar Racing should continue to climb to the top once again and there are expectations for them to finally reach the height of victory lane after eight top five finishes and 188 laps out front. Make Canada proud. In 2013, I would argue that Matt Crafton was the Jimmy Johnson of the NASCAR Truck Series as both drivers had some clutch moments and dominating performances in that season and were the clear champions in their respective divisions. Flash forward to 2018, Matt Crafton relates to Jimmy Johnson, but for all the wrong reasons. The number 88 Menards Ford was most weekends a 6th to 8th place truck and would only lead laps due to strategy or pit cycles. In fact, he only led 69 laps during the 2018 season which is an 80% decrease from the season prior. To put it nicely, it was a very mediocre season for Crafton, and he wasn't even the best truck in his organization as Grant Enfinger produced results. He led laps and got some wins, which was something this 88 team was lacking all season long. Honestly, I think 2019 is a very crucial year for the driver out of Tulare, California, especially assuming a certain driver sponsored by Menards loses his ride at Joe Gibbs Racing. With the addition of new teammate Johnny Sauter, Matt Crafton needs to win at least one race and start regaining his competitive edge, or else, like many other veterans in this truck series, his career will unfortunately get cut short. Grant Enfinger gets his hands behind the wheel of the number 98 Ford F-150 once again and hopes to build on a consistent 2018 campaign. This was hands down the best team at Thor Sport last season and I would expect more wins and strong runs from Enfinger in 2019. Who knows, he might just get his fingers on the 2019 NASCAR Truck Series trophy in 9 months time. The Louisville boy Ben Rhodes returns to Thor Sport only this time with a brand new number on his side door. Before the Sauda move, I had Ben Rhodes in the 99 team making the playoffs for the third season in a row. 
Unfortunately, I had him just barely squeaking in on points. And now that he is the third best team on paper, it hurts his chances to make the big dance. Now don't get me wrong, this team is going to have some strong runs and performances, but don't expect anything earth shattering and groundbreaking going forward. So with the 15 truckers previewed and introduced, you know what time it is. It's time for some epic predictions. Honestly, I am truly excited for this truck series season as we have a great mix of truck veterans and young prospects to compete for the title. The championship contenders are easily Brett Moffitt, Todd Gilwin, Harrison Burton, and Johnny Sauter, in which I predict they will win 13 of the 16 regular season races. As for the pretenders, there are some strong dark horse candidates such as Austin Hill and Grant Enfinger who will find victory lane, with Sheldon Creed and Stuart Friesen netting enough season points to advance to the postseason fight. Matt Crafton and Ben Rhodes will keep the playoff picture tight entering the dog days of summer, but will unfortunately fall short after Michigan. As for Leach wins, I have Kyle Busch winning one truck race at Texas, and with that win, he will break the tie with Ron Hornaday Jr. to become the winningest active truck driver on the very same pavement that he ended Ron Hornaday Jr.'s drive for five hopes for good. Yeah, I'm hoping that prediction is one of the probably many I will get wrong by summertime. So anyways, this is NRF signing out, and just remember, life's a beach, and then you drive.